We're down in Tenderfield, it's autumn time. And the leaves are falling like a beautiful carpet on the ground, all these autumn leaves. The colours of the trees are changing. Oh, it's just wonderful. And our scripture today comes from Romans 6, 17 to 19. But thanks be to God that you who were once slaves of sin have become obedient from the heart to the standard of teaching to which you were committed. And having been set free from sin, you have become slaves of righteousness. I am speaking in human terms because of your natural limitations. For just as you once presented your members as slaves to impurity and to lawlessness, leading to more lawlessness, so now present your members as slaves to righteousness, leading to sanctification. Now it sounds difficult to understand, but before we were introduced to Jesus Christ, we, we, we just followed the, the whims and fancies of our own flesh. You know, if we saw a nice bit of chocolate, we'd want to eat it. Saw a pretty girl, you want to look at her and lust after her. You know, we were slaves to our own flesh. But when we met Jesus, when we really met Jesus and gave our life to him, we wanted to see things as he saw them and we became slaves to righteousness. We wanted to do what was right and if we didn't, then the Holy Spirit would soon round us up and uh, convict us of our sin. So you shouldn't be, doing, shouldn't be looking at that. Just look to things that are holy. The Bible tells us to be holy because I am holy, God says. Be holy because I am holy. So we now need to present our members, that's our eyes and our ears and our, our lusts, if you like, our fleshly desires, to righteousness. As slaves of righteousness that leads to sanctification. And sanctification really is just a process of being set apart, it's being uh, made more righteous and, uh, until the day when we die, when we come to meet our Lord Jesus Christ and when we spend the rest of our life in eternity. So we're all on a journey, a journey of improvement. We're a, we're a work in progress. And if we are tempted, the Bible tells us that he will give us a way out. He'll, there would be an opportunity to help us away from being tempted. But yeah, it's a constant battle. We need to stay close to God, stay, stay in his word, and get his word to stay in us so that we may be set apart and made the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ and through him. Have a great day. See you later.